Good morning. As you can see, that was Lily that was with me. Um, I do have a word of the day I'd like to share with you. And today's word of the day is quorum. Quorum is a noun. Quorum refers to the smallest number of people who must be present at a meeting in order for official decisions to be made. Broadly speaking, quorum may refer to any select group. The organization's charter states that a quorum of at least seven board members must be present before any voting can take place. And this goes for any meeting, you usually have to have a quorum. And my thought of the day is, only those who dare to fail greatly can ever achieve greatly. Um, along with success comes failure. Failure is not a, necessarily a bad thing. It's a way that we can we can achieve success. Okay, so today is the last day. And here I have Lily with me again. Uh, today is the last day for our fundraiser, our, our heat fundraiser. Um, so this is your last chance to help support the PTSA for this fundraiser. There'll be lots of other fundraisers. This is just for this fundraiser, this particular one. Um, so remember www.readysetfund.com slash AWPA register, code word heat. Again, for this fundraiser, uh, today is the last day. So go out there and let's support our school and support the PTSA. Okay, so uh, we have, it's that time of the year, student government time. And I have, uh, I have one of our campaigns. <laughs> Hello, oh, my name is Zoe Schwerk, and I'm a candidate for the presidency of Amateur Waterloo's Cade Center. I am in sixth grade, and I'm 11 years old. Today, in this interview, I want to talk about what will I change and why I'm running for president. And I just want to begin by thank you for your time and have a good time watching this video. To begin with, I'm going to talk about what achievements can make me a good president. So to begin with, I think that me helping my mom in the aftercare is a very good achievement because I'm showing leadership qualities because I'm helping kids with their homework and what not stuff they do. Math, reading, I'm helping other kids who are starting to help my mom run the aftercare 
on guiding them how to do this. I also was on the team in my community during the summer to deliver mail and stuff like that. And we won competition against another team. So we actually managed to win with my guiding skills, of course, but I could not have done this without my friends who were on my team. But sadly, they're in another school, so I can say thank you to them. And I want to talk about what and why I'm a president or a future to be president. I want to be president because this is my passion. I love to help. I like to be kind. I love to be nice. That's just like my passion. I want to become president so I can guys help you have a better school year. And I want to make new activities, new stuff. Basically new stuff, yeah, to help you because I just feel like it. And I'm taking this very seriously. I'm not going to lie. I want to be honest. And guys, I promise you that I'll work very hard towards doing at least more than half of all my promises because I know the administration has to approve, but I'm not going to give up even if they do not approve. I'm going to find other ways to win the argument and I'm going to try as hard as I can to do what the teachers and students want. I want to talk about now what will I change. So to begin with, I'm going to add or even change new some lunch menu items because let's face it, some kids do not like these menu items. Some kids might like them and I really respect them and some kids might not. And I really respect them also. So I want to make something that will, you know, please both sides because I feel like everyone deserves, you know, a little piece for themselves. What I also want to add is more sport equipment and more sport teams. Sport equipment, that's going to be very, a little bit hard, but with, a, with, but with enough fundraisers, I think that's going to be enough. Um, a lot of kids like box ball and many other little activities and some balls or you know things might break uh pop so you know i think we we should get you know better equipment and more sport teams would actually help some students you know do things that are fun for them and take the things seriously because you know some kids like softball some kids like basketball we already have volleyball teams, which I really support, but that's not enough. I also want to really badly, I'll try my best, but I do not promise this. I'm going to be honest, I do not promise this, but I work very hard to add two vending machines so that we can profit for the, both the school and the students. And down the road, I'm going to make many more activities, like many more. Because, let's face it, four things is not enough. We need more. So, you know, I'm going to add more things that you guys are going to tell us, the student body, what we should add. Because by the First Amendment, you have a voice. Because, you know, we all have to give our share fair ideas. And honestly, I wish I could do this. So... I'm trying to do something that you guys don't even need to wish for and be able to do. To finish this off, I want to tell you guys something. I'm not going to be like other politicians. I'm not going to lie so I can get into office. I want to help you because you guys are my fellow classmates, my fellow sixth graders, my fellow middle schoolers. So I feel that all of us must help each other because that's what friends, that's what school is made for, helping. And by winning the election and you putting that little check mark under my name, I think I can help you guys, but only with your help also, with your voice. With your voice, I can help you guys. We can have a better school together because I want to be your hope. I want to be the hope for students, 
and the hope for middle school. Thank you. And this was Ilias Clark. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>